Uh, yeah. Uh, I can. I can barely hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I could, I, I couldn't, I couldn't hardly hear you guys. <laughs> hey, it's hey, I, hey, how you doing today? Um, I came across uh, Roadmasters uh, School uh, for truck driving. You know, I, I, uh, I've seen, I've seen a lot of the videos, and I, and I just wanted to get a little bit more information. Uh, the, the, the thing that struck me the most. Uh, that kind of got my curiosity peak because I have a handicapped friend was the uh the video that I seen uh one of looked like looked like one of the student drivers that was getting up in the truck with a with a with a with a chairlift. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hello? Yes, hi, this is Don. Uh hey, uh I can barely hear you. You you got me on a speakerphone or something? Sounds like you underwater. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah, I'm on speaker. Oh, I I can't hear you. Is it is it possible that that you could take me off the speaker, <laughs> so I can hear you better? Sure. Thank you, thank you. All right. So, I was just got finished talking to. I guess that was a receptionist or something like that. So, I have a you know I, I I'm interested in you know in the different schoolings out here. So I'm doing my research right now, and you know I'm I'm tapping in on on which you know school would be you know would be cool for me but i have a you know i have a handicapped friend that's uh that's interested in getting into trucking as well but i was curious about the video that i have seen recently uh was the young man that was getting up in the that was getting up in the truck with uh he was in a wheelchair getting up in the truck with a what a what a uh seat lifter or something like that Thank you. 
Yeah, you're talking about Clyde Dallas uh, that he, they posted, or somebody posted on YouTube. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, yeah, so that was in uh, that was in Jacksonville, Florida, a number of years ago. Unfortunately, we don't have that truck anymore. Okay. But yeah, that was at our Jacksonville facility. Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of that was kind of wild. I mean, you know, me and him looked at it, and we was like. Huh. Uh could you go into a little bit more detail about uh about what was the whole what was the whole thing behind that? Well, I really can't discuss another student's training, I guess if you have a specific question. Uh, I don't I don't know. Okay, it's uh okay. So, well you already said that you guys don't have that truck no more, but at that particular at that particular time, uh it looks like it was attached to the truck. So, was that like a specialized truck that you guys had? Yeah, it was it was some specialized equipment involving the lift obviously and then uh hand controls for the truck. Okay, okay. So at at one point or another, at one point or another, you you guys offer training to to students that didn't have that don't have mobility in their legs or anything like that. Uh, that was that was the one time. Yeah, that's right. I mean, obviously, we accommodate individuals with disabilities in accordance with applicable regulations. But yes, that was that was the only individual that we trained through the use of that type of equipment. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you guys still train uh, people with disability, and what type of disability? Yeah, what 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 type of disability? As far as what you guys are looking for, as far as to train. Well, I mean, I don't have a, I don't have an exhaustive list of all different kinds of disabilities. Obviously, I have physical and mental disabilities and things like that. But you know, we review every situation and accommodate, of course, with applicable regulations, provided that uh, you know it meets the applicable you know safety threshold. Obviously, safety's got to be paramount no matter what. Okay, okay. So that particular truck right there that 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 uh, me and him looked at pretty much had, like you said, it had hand controls as far as acceleration brake i'm i'm assuming that's an automatic truck that that could not be 
That's for that's a correct. manual. Yeah, it can't be manual. It doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Right, right, so, right. Obviously, you have the you have the auto restriction on the uh, on the license, but we're in all auto school anymore. So if you've trained with us or he trains with us, we're all excuse me, we're all yeah, we're all auto. Sorry. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, because like I said, I I'm. I'm amazed <laughs> as well as, yeah. as well as my friend. I mean, I, I, you know, I mean, I, I was amazed to see something like that because I, you know, I, you know, I know truck drivers that, that has multiple disabilities, but that was, that was a first that I actually seen uh, a, a chairlift uh, a system to help a driver in and out of the truck considering with all the regulations and, and, and stuff that, you know, normal, normal truck drivers normally go through on a day-to-day -day basis. So. Yeah. And to, you know, what goes along with that, with the DOT physical, you know, you have to get what's called an STE waiver, but that's for any loss or impairment of limb. So obviously there are uh, other pieces to that that allow for, you know, that individual to be, you know, physically qualified to be able to operate a commercial motor vehicle. Oh, okay. 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 All right. So, uh, so what, okay. So the school itself, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm, you know, doing my research. So, uh, what, what would be, what would be the, what would be the amount that I had to pay out of pocket, uh, for what, how, how long is the schooling as well? Uh, are you looking at any particular location? Uh, I know you guys have one in Ohio. So, yeah. So, okay. So, the Ohio program is 160 clock hours, 16 days of training, and the cost of tuition is $6,995. And we do have financing available, in house financing available for those who qualify. Okay. Okay. Um, I read somewhere, you know, of course, like I said, I'm doing my research. I read somewhere that, that Warner has uh has stock in the company so if i was to say uh go with warner would they cover my tuition they have so all the companies we work with a yes we are a subsidiary of warner enterprises uh if you do go with warner or if you go with uh some of the other trucking companies that we work with they all maintain what's known as tuition reimbursement programs mm -hmm. so in addition to your regular uh you know uh, pay per mile or however the different companies may pay. They offer that as an incentive to their drivers. As long as you are with them, they pay a certain amount toward uh, repayment of the uh, student financing. Oh, okay. 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 So, uh, I know you said hours, man, but, you know, talk, <laughs> I had, you know, I had to take things in as a five-year-old. So, how <laughs> that's three weeks, four weeks a month. What, what are we looking at here? So it's 16 days. Right now we're training Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. So it's 10 hours a day for 16 days. So basically you'd be looking at Monday through Friday, Monday through Friday, Monday through Friday, and then probably a Monday or Tuesday. Usually goes into the middle of the week with testing, obviously, you know, oh. getting that CDL test done. Okay. Um, would, I, would, I be test, uh, would I be testing, or not testing, but I, I would be pretty much – being that you guys is a subsidiary of uh, Warner, you guys going to train me with train me about everything that's about the truck, coupling, uncoupling, uh, sliding yeah, well, we tandems. Have an catalog goes through what what we go through, obviously, and then particularly the state of Ohio has particular training requirements uh, as far as you know. We do both knowledge and practical training. Okay. Okay. So, uh, as far as the as far as the testing, is it a is it an outside source testing or you guys test out? It's a it's an affiliate of ours that does the testing, but yes, you essentially do it through us. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um, let's just say I don't. Let's say I don't pass the first time. Do do I get a op? Do I do I get an opportunity to to get a chance to pass until you know I get it right or? Do you guys you talk about the CDL test? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so with us, it would be up to four attempts. You get up to four tries. Okay, okay, okay. Awesome, awesome. So there is an equipment fee after the first attempt. So you get the first attempt is included with which I believe it's seventy five. I'm not in admission, so I'm not sure how you got through to me, but um, it's seventy five dollars, I believe, for an equipment fee. 
Okay. Uh, after the first attempt. Okay. Okay. That, and that's that's just to use the truck to for the for the testing, pretty much. Correct. Okay. All right. Awesome. Um. I, I, let me see. I'd be happy to take your name and number and get you over to somebody uh, in admissions if you'd like, or have them reach out to you. Uh, no, nah, like I said, man, I, I'm just, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm just doing my research. I already called, uh, you know, tri C trucking Academy. I, I called, uh, uh, you know, great lace trucking, you know, and, and the video that just, you know, popped up in my feed <laughs> damn near peak, peak my fancy because, you know, like I said, I do have a friend that's, you know, that was interested in trucking and he, he you know, me and him both watched the video and we was, <laughs> we was amazed <laughs> at the video. So, you know, that was, that was just part of me calling, you know, to get, you know, to do my research about that as well as, gotcha. you know, talk about the video itself. But you said, you said that you guys no longer offer that particular, uh, uh, training with the, well, with the lift seat. Well, we don't, we don't have that. We don't have that piece of equipment. Oh, okay, 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 okay. But it's still floating around, though, pretty much. If somebody want to train off that, uh, correct. It, it it would still be out there, and obviously the equipment would be available. Okay. And and before I let you go, uh, you said that uh, would I would I would I be testing out? You said I'll be testing out in the automatic. So would that pretty much? restrict me i know in ohio it is but would i get the op yeah it, it, every every everywhere in the u.s so if you test in a in an automatic equipped truck then you would be limited to being able to drive only uh commercial motor vehicles equipped with an automatic transmission if you wanted uh to be able to drive a manual transmission you would subsequently have to retest in uh, a truck that had a manual transmission okay would i would i be able to Wow. Ho throughout my whole phase of training through through you guys, Roadmaster, it will be in the automatic truck though. That's correct. Oh, okay. So that means I would basically have to go somewhere else in order to get some training in the manual, pretty much. Correct. Yeah, we don't offer manual training anymore. I mean most of the carriers they're not even building trucks anymore that are equipped with Autom or manual transmission. So you okay. know, the carriers we work with pretty much are are running autos anymore, and all the OEMs are pretty much only reducing or only producing trucks equipped with automatic transmissions. But yes, that is a correct statement. That if you want a training in a manual, we wouldn't be able to offer it. Gotcha, you gotcha. Auto. All right, bro. Well, hey, thanks. Hey, I appreciate your time, man. Thank you very much. I I was just like I said, I was just calling. You know, I was just calling to, you know, do my research, do my homework and and sure. and speak on sure. and speak on the speak on the truck. I mean, like I said, the video is <laughs> it's 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 wild. You you can imagine somehow how some of you know some of the truck drivers will see how that's like how. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yep, you know it was, it was definitely something very innovative that we were able to do. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like I said, you know, we, <laughs> you know, truck drivers that that you know that can, you know, not 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 the not the handicap because, like I said, my dude, you know, my dude right here, you know, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, for for a truck driver, you know, in a wheelchair, truck driver at that, you know, do they? Well, let me ask you this. I I know I said I was gonna let you go. My fault. It's I get so many I get so many questions that pop up in my head at one time, but they actually make specialized trucks for for people. They make specialized specialized it's specialized equipment. Obviously, it's it, from a variety of different vendors. So what? In other words, you couldn't go to a DI. There are some. There, it wouldn't be like a direct dealership. You know what I mean? Like you couldn't go to Freightliner and buy that type of truck. Okay. You'd go to like a third party that makes modifications. Oh, okay. So what companies? Hold on. What companies offer trucks like that for the handicap? I don't. There's. You just have to Google it. Honestly, I don't have a. <laughs> okay, I don't have a I'll, I'll do that. I'll. <laughs> I'll, I'll do that. I'll, I'll continue. I'll yeah, continue my. Uh, I'll it, it continue. Depends on where you are in the country, obviously. So, mm -hmm. You know. 
And you say that one right there was in Jacksonville, Florida. That's correct. All right. So obviously I'm not the first one to call you about that video. All right, man. Well, hey, thank you very much, man. I appreciate the time, man. Yes, sir. Not a problem at all. And certainly thanks for reaching out to us. I appreciate you. Thank you. (laughs) That's crazy. I mean, (laughs) wow. This, uh, I mean, I've I, I seen a lot of stuff in my trucking career. I really have. I've seen a lot in my trucking career. And I'm, you know, I, I scratch my head on a, on a lot of stuff when it comes to trucking. I, I, I you know, I'm, I'm still young in the game. You know what I'm saying? And I'm still seeing things that's, that's, that that's in trucking that still amazes me to this day. You know what I'm saying? And watching this video of this young man getting out of a wheelchair, getting in a specialized equipment truck with a wheel lift, I mean, with a chair lift, and actually watch him break down the wheelchair, it was amazing to me. I mean, it was amazing to me. You know, it's like I asked him, I said, you you can imagine what be going through, you know, truck drivers' minds that has, you know, that that has to do all of this physical type stuff to even get in to to even get in with the trucking company. Like what me and KB talked about. Somebody you you had to duck walk up under the trailer. You have to Get in on the passenger side, get in on the driver's side, three points of contact. You had to get in the back, get out of the back, and so forth, so forth and so on. Now, of course, he could not comment on, on the guy's training, and that's understandable. But still, watching him break, in, break down his chair looks like, you know, the video itself is like, what 30 minutes or something like that it's his training and it was all i mean it all works out you know it gives him the opportunity to to be a truck driver to be a truck driver it ain't it ain't like how it used to be man it ain't how it used to be just like you said you know for for new trucks that's coming out new carriers that's uh that's converting um no more, no more manuals, you know, only for maybe a small few, not like that. But some of these carriers are all switching over to automatics now. So, and as he said, dealers is not even making uh, sh- uh, manuals anymore. So, you know, if you want to drive a manual, I suggest you not to go to uh, Roadmasters. I, I suggest you go to a school that's, uh, that's, uh, that, that's, 
that's training you in a manual if you want to drive a manual. Yeah, and especially if you don't want to spend that extra money because you're already spending sixty nine hundred dollars for you know for a auto restriction, and then maybe an extra grand or two uh, just to learn how to drive a manual. So you don't want to do that. Mm-mm. You don't want to do that. All right, if you like content like this and more, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and hit that bell for more. This is Lockout Men. I appreciate you guys. And for the listeners, yo, Lockout Men podcast across all podcast uh, platforms. Google. Yes, sir. iTunes. Yes, sir. Spotify. Yes, sir. And iHeartRadio and the rest of them. You know what I'm saying? So if you just you driving down the highway and you just want to listen to me, look for me on them platforms because I am there. Yes, sir. I am your humble host, Lockout Man. I appreciate you guys coming on and chilling with me. Yo, shout out to everybody that supports the channel. And that's about it. That's about it. Roadmaster. Yes, sir. That's it. I'm out. We are gone.